I do not despise you, priests, all time, the world over. My faith is the greatest of faiths and the least of faiths. In closing worship ancient and modern, and all between ancient and modern, believing I shall come again upon the earth after five thousand years, waiting responses from oracles, honoring the gods, saluting the sun, making a fetish of the first rock or stump, powwowing with sticks in the circle of obis, helping the lama or brahmin as he trims the lamps of the idols, dancing yet through the streets in a phallic procession, wrapped and austere in the woods, a gymnosophist, drinking mead from the skull cap to Shasta's and Veda's admirant, minding the Koran, walking the Teokalis, spotted with gore from the stone and knife, beating the serpent skin drum, accepting the Gospels, accepting him that was crucified, knowing assuredly that he is divine. To the mass kneeling or the Puritan's prayer rising, or sitting patiently in a pew, ranting and frothing in my insane crises, or waiting dead-like till my spirit arouses me, looking forth on pavement and land, or outside of pavement and land, belonging to the winders of the circuit of circuits, one of that centripetal and centrifugal gang, I turn and talk like man, leaving charges before a journey. Downhearted doubters, dull and excluded, frivolous, sullen, moping, angry, affected, disheartened, atheistical. I know every one of you. I know the sea of torment, doubt, despair, and unbelief. How the flukes splash, how they contort rapid as lightning, with spasms and spouts of blood. Be at peace, bloody flukes, of doubters and sullen mopers. I take my place among you, as much as among any. The past is the push of you, me, all. Precisely the same. And what is yet untried and afterwards is for you, me, all. Precisely the same. I do not know what is untried and afterward, but I know it will in its turn prove sufficient and cannot fail. Each who passes is considered, each who stops is considered, not single one can it fall. It cannot fall the young man who died and was buried, nor the young woman who died and was put by his side, nor the little child that peeped in at the door and then drew back and was never seen again, nor the old man who has lived without purpose and feels it with bitterness worse than gall, nor him in the poorhouse to burgled by rum and the bad disorder, nor the numberless slaughtered and wrecked, nor the brutish kabo called the ordeur of humanity, nor the sacks merely floating with open mouths for food to slip in, nor anything in the earth, or down in the oldest graves of the earth, nor anything in the myriads of spheres, nor the myriads of myriads that inhabit them, nor the present, nor the least wisp that is known.